Hey guys, Bronco Carl 92 here. So uh, I'm just going to do a, a quick little video uh, this evening. Um, I'm going to make a special tool. It is um, basically a pressure testing rig um, for testing um, automatic transmission clutch packs with low pressure. So I bought a couple of parts the other night at the uh, Northern Tool Store and uh, basically I'm going to put them together right now and show you what I got. Okay, so uh, what we have here is uh, we have a, um, a blow gun with a rubber tip on it and we're going to attach this regulator to it um, with one of these fittings and here's going to be our air in fitting. regulator gauge assembly nipple and our quick disconnect fitting so we'll take a little Teflon tape That side. And same for the other side. Turn that in there. Now, I was originally going to use a whip hose on here, and I kind of thought differently of doing that because it's going to make the, uh, the entire tool a little too cumbersome. We'll get a different wrench. So I have it like that, so I can see my gauge. I'm right-handed. And of course it's cold in the garage again tonight. It's nice and warm yesterday and she'll break down again winter that doesn't want to quit. Okay, so that's it. So now, hook up our airline. And right now we've got uh, 90 PSI. So I've got my little regulator on here. So you can see we have shot pressure right now and when we activate the trigger it drops down to 40. I can drop it down to nothing. Go full bore with it. So there you go. Now I wonder how this will work on a clutch pack. So uh, 
I guess the next transmission that I do, we can test this out on. So, thanks for watching. Okay, so um, I must admit, after I got the tool uh, assembled, I thought about it for a little bit and realized that um, the air that would flow through the tool is only regulated as long as the flow is unobstructed. Um, if you deadhead um, the tool when uh, there's air going through it, the uh, pressure would basically go back up to shop pressure. Um, so it kind of uh, defeated the purpose of the, uh, the regulation. So um, I gave it a little thought and uh, I made a little adjustment to it and uh, let me show you what I did. So now, as you can see, it's at shop air uh, pressure and if I pull the trigger, it drops down to zero. Okay, if I deadhead it now and pull the trigger, it goes to 40. So the way I achieve that is not through the the dial on there, but uh, what I did was I um, I put a uh, a pressure relief assembly in it, and uh, I'll take this quickly apart to uh, to show you what I did. All right. So what I did was I found a steel check ball. Actually, the check ball I saved from when I rebuilt my jack, because I don't throw anything out. <laughs> um, and uh, I drilled out the inside of this um, union um, about halfway down with a 3 8 drill bit so the spring would seat in there. So basically you've got a spring and you've got a, a check ball in there. So um, I had to try a few different springs. I've got some springs laying around from uh, from some shift kits and you know some valve bodies and, and stuff like that. So I actually had uh, three springs that were like this. This seemed to be the stiffest and uh, the right one for the job. Yep, 40 psi. So once we get the 727 apart and uh, put back together, we'll uh, we'll give this baby a try. So um, anyway, I'm gonna go uh, put this together and upload it. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope uh, I hope this uh, wasn't too confusing. I hope this uh, tool might be helpful to uh, some of you guys out there. So anyway, take care. Whoops.